So, hi Shohinidhi, welcome to my Joy Hope TV series called Quarantine Diaries. So, the reason why I decided to make this kind of relaxed series during this time is to offer a glimpse to our viewers of what it's like as an artist, a scientist, and in your case, an actress and a theatre star on dealing with this pandemic, this crisis, and how we should cope with staying at home and adjusting to a different lifestyle as well as a different mentality. So, Shohedi, it's so great to have you here. First, I was wondering if you could give me a very short introduction of yourself, what you do, just a few lines. Well, I have been uh, acting since I was three years old, but uh, very serious acting stuff I started doing from 1996. I am yeah. born into a very well-known theatre family in Kolkata. My parents are Rudra Bhushad and Shatti Lekash and Gupto and now me and my team and my husband Shopkushi and yeah. we are now leading Nandikar which is a very important theatre organisation. I myself have done a few films, won a few awards but I prefer doing theatre more than anything else. So, um, this pandemic started to become a crisis worldwide during around mid to end of March. And it was the end of March which kind of brought this kind of massive nationwide lockdown. So, when you started learning what was happening, how did you react at first? March, I was, I still am not very worried. Mm -hmm. I guess because uh, I am one of the lucky ones who uh, has electricity, who has food, who has True. you know a basic means for survival and it will be the you know the poorer section who will be largely affected yeah. who will be directly affected yeah so yeah that's really worrying so right now so let's look at um you at home uh, who are you trapped in the house with i'm guessing your family your or your husband <laughs> i'm trapped with my best friend actually so i'm very lucky <laughs> my husband Toshi. Yeah, he's the best friend that I have in the whole world. So oh, that's nice. I'm saying, you know, we have six canine children. Oh, so, uh, amazing! That is the best. What What are the names? They are Gunda, Mithai, Budai, Roxy, Lucy, and Benu. Oh my God! I six. <laughs> that's and so many. <laughs> see me a lot. So yeah. now, like, they're really happy that I'm grounded. Uh, now, so when you're at home, so sometimes I'm guessing you have to go out to get some groceries. So what is that arrangement yeah. like? Is it a bit kind of difficult to know how much food you need to get at one point? Or, I mean, do you go out for walks? So what is it like when you go out of the house? Uh, see, I was in, initially, I was not going out at all. Yeah. Because I was, in the beginning, I was kind of worried because everyone was... Uh, you know, warning me all the time, but then I got a little fed up and I thought, you know, I, I, I just need to go out once and see. So, I, I wear a mask and I whenever I come back home, I wash everything, everything, you know, I, I land in the bathroom first. I yeah. go to the washroom first, I wash everything with soap. So, I used to have a lot of, you know, uh, stuff at home. I guess to buy a lot of things that I didn't need, but now I just go out and buy exactly what I need. So the pandemic has taught me this. So now we're going to move on to your hobbies. You are a very creative person because you make plays and of course you've got so much creativity lurking inside you. It must have been very difficult to kind of um, contain that. Uh, two things. A is that I have always liked isolation. Hmm. You know pandemic or no pandemic. I yeah. I have always kind of, I am a, I'm a loner who would really love to sit with her book by a poolside or you know just hide in the room and read a book yeah. I don't have this tremendous urge of you know I must be creative all the time I must be performing all the time I yeah. somehow don't have that at all I feel that I will of course I will get back to the stage mm -hmm. everybody has this need to sing or to recite or do something sometimes it's a little overwhelming and i think that you know people are just scared that you know something bad might happen so i have never felt the need of doing something like that meantime i would like to quietly sit with people who really matter to me and with my books very true yeah 
Uh, that's that's a very good example of how to like spend your time wisely with your loved ones and doing the thing you love the most and how uh, that's amazing. So have you been feeling sometimes that you do feel upset or like mentally depressed or physically you feel like very restrained because that is a very common kind of feeling and especially with an increase in like mental health um, you know getting more attention like do you feel uh, do you sometimes feel sad or like kind of helpless in this kind of lockdown situation? Uh, see I am an extremely aware person when it comes to mental health yeah whenever I do a lot of work hmm. and I'm always kind of you know I sometimes when I have to do work that I don't want to do but I have to do it because I have an order yeah but you know things are like that sometimes yeah I get very depressed hmm. when things I am not being able to do things that I really want to do if sometimes you feel that your mind is uh, overtaking you or you know just clamping up or whatever yeah. the best thing to do is to sit with yourself and analyze or write it down and ask yourself why you're going through this what are the reasons is it just the COVID-19 is it just the cyclone or is it something more than that you know yeah it is you must talk to yourself and if you are unable to solve your own problems you must go and see someone I have a shrink and a very good one so whenever I feel you know kind of upset I run to her I like doing that I don't think it's it's a negative thing I think it's something that you should do especially actors yeah because we get, we tend to have a lot of personality disorders when we are playing many characters at least I I get into those you know yeah. so I like I have a I have some I have a run to person mm-hmm. and uh, um, no I have not felt uh, locked down at home in fact I have been moving a lot you know when I have a lot of outside work I come back home and I just throw myself on the bed but now since I don't have my house help uh, with me mm-hmm. I I am doing stuff the entire day and sweating a lot inside the house yeah, yeah. and like doing house chores yeah. as well so you yeah. know always I, I enjoy I, you know I haven't seen my utensils in a very long time <laughs> I know every now I know where they all are <laughs> I know where everything is and it's quite nice yeah yeah you know, yeah and I, I like sweating it out so what do you think you've learned in just in a short in probably one or two lines what you've learned the most from this and how do you think it will impact your perspective of the future like how do you think you'll be changed after this yeah for instance the first thing that you know I teach in a school where there are many children so my first challenge would be not to touch my face all the time that's very true yeah when you're yeah. wearing a mask or a, a, a whatever you you just do many things the entire day without thinking about it so now that you know you have to follow certain rules you have to change your lifestyle and you have to be kind of slower and calmer about it you have to look at yourself mm. it's uh, also i guess i have realized that individual effort will count a lot more every individual has to make an effort how we need to change ourselves to yeah. survive for our children to survive you know what 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 is the legacy that we will give those kids the next generation that should be important i want a better world you know i want people to learn a lesson from this yeah it's our actions now which kind of determine like, what's going to happen in the future and not only our actions but how we kind of what we tell them right what what we our kind of perception of what's happening they're going to learn from that so i think that's really good what you said um last to kind of add a uh, cherry on the cake anyways um that concludes the interview um but thank you so much for doing this with me i think our viewers have learned a lot from what you've said and you've shared some words of wisdom so thank you so much for being here bye bye okay. bye thank you yeah. <laughs>